Hey, everybody. Thank you all so much for what a wonderful reception. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And how lucky are we to be right here tonight in Charleston, West Virginia, where Donald Trump is in the house. Mark mentioned that I'm a fifth, well, I'm a fifth generation businessman from Southern West Virginia, and I do tend to look at the problems that we face in government through that business prism. And so I look at the things that we face in our state right now, and what's the most important thing? We need to put our people back to work. We need jobs. We need jobs. We need to put our miners back to work. So how can we do that? Well, there's a few things we can do. We can get government out of the way. This overweighted bureaucracy that gets in the way all the time. We got to cut all those right. We got to cut bureaucracy. We need to make sure that government isn't in the way. What else do we have? We have budget issues. We need to right size our government. We need to make sure that we run this state properly. And, and, and make sure that your dollars, the taxpayers' dollars, are properly invested. So what are we looking at? Does it sound a little bit like what we face in, in our nation's capital? Are we spending money that we don't have? $19 trillion in debt? Do we need to put Americans back to work? Do we need to get government out of the way? So I'll tell you. There's a lot of reasons that I'm supporting Donald Trump. You know, let me, let me go back right to the first. He's the one candidate that kept circling back and talking about the importance of our fossil fuels, of our natural gas, and particularly our coal industry. He's the one guy, and he kept coming back to it and back to it. Incidentally, tonight is his first major speech since becoming the presumptive, no, I don't like the word presumptive, but becoming the Republican nominee for President of the United States. And he came to Charleston, West Virginia to make this most incredible, most important speech. If you watched Tuesday night, two days ago, in his speech in New York City, and it was right after Senator Cruz suspended his campaign, Donald Trump came on and he said not once, not twice, not three times, but at least four or five times, we will put our West Virginia miners back to work. And make no mistake, make no mistake about it, if Hillary Clinton is our next president, it will be it will be the third term of Barack Obama. She has coal in her gun sights. We must, we must send Donald Trump to Washington, D.C. to be the next president of the United States. One other reason, quickly, there's many reasons, but one other reason that comes to mind quickly. I genuinely believe that this is a man that's in it for the right reasons. This isn't a political gain for him. There, he could be doing a whole lot of better things with his life, I'm sure, but the man cares. And I believe genuinely that he'll go to Washington, he'll make the tough decisions, the heavy lifts, the things that we got to get done to fix what's broken in Washington, and he'll do it with total disregard to political fallout. He'll do it because it's the right reason.
He'll do it because it's the right reason, not worried about some poll, and is this going to get me a second term? He's going to go up there, and he'll get this job done. He's a business guy. He thinks like a business guy. He will surround himself with bright people and then put them out and tell them, go get the job done. I know this man is going to make America great again. Folks, you don't think I can have this podium and, and not talk about me running for governor for just one minute. I look at the things, thank you, I look at the things that I believe Donald Trump brings, and, and, and I, I'm that business guy too. I'm the one that will go in and make the tough decisions, irregardless of a second term. I'm not a career politician. I am a one-term state senator. At the end of my term, I'm either, I'm either Citizen Cole or I'm Governor Cole, and I hope that you'll help me become Governor Cole because we need to make this state great again, and we can do it. We can do it, and we can do it with a president like Donald Trump leading from the front and helping our state again to greatness. Thank you all very, very much. Let me tell you, that guy's a natural born leader. He's exactly who we need as governor. So I ask you to vote for him on election day. He'll, he'll, he'll be a tremendous governor as we uh, move forward uh, here in West Virginia.